Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Worship Together Across the Diocese. As I'm going to be talking about God and science and amazing stuff, I thought I would come and film outside and shout, God is King of the Universe! All the time. Amen. So, I've discovered a great new song and now that we're allowed to sing again, uh, there's a QR code going to uh, come up on the screen. It's called God of Science and it's by Rend Collective Kids. It's got great video that goes with it so you can watch all this amazing stuff, all this science and uh, biology and creation and the environment and all sorts of stuff that reminds us that God is the creator of absolutely everything. So have a little sing and enjoy this. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that song. I think it's great and it just reminds us that God creates absolutely everything from the smallest, smallest thing to the hugest, hugest mountains in the world. He makes it all. And he gave it to us as a gift. And I want, to, want you to think about gifts. Hmm, I wonder if anybody's given you anything recently. I wonder what it was. Was it a birthday present or sweets or um, some time? A trip out or something or uh, a new game or oh we could be given all sorts of things i love being given presents and flowers and it just fills your heart with joy and it's love to, lovely to give presents as well as to receive presents and i want us to think today about people giving something for others that's perhaps a little bit unusual now, you might have heard people saying, oh, I've given blood today. Oh, I'm off to give blood today. And you think, hmm, that's a strange thing. How can you give blood? But that's what lots and lots of people do. And on the 14th of June, it's World Blood Donor Day to encourage people to give this gift. There are two men on the screen now, James Blundell, who in 1818, which is a really long time ago, performed the first blood transfusion that saved somebody's life. And then alongside him, Charles Richard Drew, who in 1940 made incredible breakthrough discoveries that meant that blood could now be stored and then given to somebody who needed it. And because of this, he saved lots of lives of the soldiers during the Second World War. Now, you might think, well, I've got the bl bloods inside me. I've got ev all the blood that I need. And yes, you have. But sometimes people need some extra blood if they're poorly. They've perhaps had an accident and they've done and they have you know when you cut yourself um and and you bleed perhaps you know they've lost too much blood and those two clever men and other clever scientists have worked out how we can transfuse blood from one person to another and save people's lives and do lots and lots of research on the blood that's donated that then helps people work out how to make different medicines. So like the coronavirus vaccine, you know, those people in laboratories and, and God gives them those skills and gifts and talents and that ability to do these mind-blowingly, amazingly clever things. And so if there's a, a country around the world where perhaps there's lots of people that are poorly or there's a war or, you know, and that's why it's a whole world blood donation. And like I say, it's something that 
you might think, oh, it's a bit of a strange thing to give. But if you're healthy and you've got to be a grown up, uh, it's really, really easy to do. And your body just makes more blood when some of it's been given away. And then there's these blood banks that can be shared across the world and help when people are in need. So it's a way of helping somebody else um, that doesn't cost you anything. And what a joy to be able to do that. And how clever of all the doctors and nurses to be able to do that. Mm, giving. Giving amazing things. Blood. You might not have thought of that one before. But you could add that one to your list now of things. Hmm. I'm going to have a think about that. Let's pray together. So, Father God, as we think about this amazing world in which we live, that's full of clever people that you have given the skills and talents to uh, do these amazing scientific experiments uh, that help in the world of health and all the doctors and the nurses and people that work out how to do the blood donor and transfusion work and it's just incredible that you just know about all of this stuff and that you've given it to us and we can then share it with each other so as i stand here now and can hear the birds singing let's just rest in your presence and that wow god of the universe is our friend. Amen. And today we're praying for everybody in Poulton Deanery. So if you are in Poulton Deanery, if you live in Poulton Deanery, if you go to school in Poulton Deanery, this prayer is for you. So Lord Jesus, bless everybody today in the Deanery of Poulton. Give them a great day. May they feel your presence. In your precious name, Amen. So I hope you found that interesting. Something a little bit different to think about. A little bit of history, a little bit of science. Hmm. wonder what else you could find out about some amazing scientific inventions and next time somebody says to you oh i'm going to give blood you can say oh that's a really cool thing to do because you're helping somebody else and that blood could go anywhere around the world have a good day see you next time <laughs>